guys, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art, and today I have been getting requests to draw Adrian Turner as his character as Ross Poldark from the show Poldark. Now, I was a little, <laughs> I was a little hesitant to draw him only because I have never drawn him before, and also, um, I have actually never watched Poldark. It is on my list, though, believe me, as a lot of Outlander fans have said, they also really love this show and I have a friend who was one of the people who first got me into Outlander also recommend this show and love this show. I know that his character is supposed to be very much the heartwarming type and like the period piece man that we all want, right? So I decided, hey, why not give it a shot? If you guys have any more characters you'd like to see me dry or draw or actors or actresses, let me know in the comments down below and I may just pick you to make a video about. I must admit, um, I'm not the best at drawing long hair. I, I can do it when it's for a woman and it's not that I can't do it for a man, but when it's like curly or if it's very tousled, I have a hard time because it just looks like a bunch of scribbles when I draw it. I don't know how some people are just so good at that. Kind of art like drawing the long hair and like it just has that look I, I was having a hard time because it kind of looked like i don't know like legolas with bad like bedhead and i that's not what i was looking for so i kept trying to make sure i uh, readjusted it and also i did have some issues with my programs again as usual hopefully you know i can get upgrades or updates that will fix the bugs but until then I decided I wasn't going to make his hair as crazy as it is in the reference photo you see on the left there and tried to stick a little bit more to what I'm used to and hopefully with practice I can get better at making that hair look effortless. Um, from what I've read and from what I've heard, this character is definitely a very lovable, admirable character. He has very... <laughs> very strong passionate scenes and by passion I mean that he's just super caring super into his work which really intrigues me because that's why I got into Outlander because that's the kind of character I tend to go for is kind of like not quite the underdog but the more quiet but will stand up for what's right and what you believe in and Often they get put in situations that are really hard and you just, you feel for them, you want to see them like win, you want to see them get through it, you want to see them find love, you want to see them become happy, you just want to know what happens next and as someone who growing up wasn't huge into period pieces or pieces set in like old centuries, I've really grown to love these kinds of things because they tend to be a bit more deep. Not necessarily like in the cheesy, oh my lady, my, you know, no. It's more like life was so much harder in those days. And these are also taken from books who have, sorry, which have so much history to them, like so many backstories, like it's just a rich, deep story that you want to explore and often books can be a little bit darker than television likes to put on. So when shows like this come along and they try and take something like that and make it real, make it have the depth and all all of the full body 360 3D developed character, it is really hard to find the right people to do those things and from what I've heard Aiden Turner is really good at his job, so I definitely look forward to drawing that more often once I start watching the show. I was definitely struggling with the hair here. He kind of looked like Lord Farquaad from Shrek with the hair that I started doing, and unfortunately my, <laughs> my system glitched there, and that's why you see me starting to fill in the hair again. But in a way, it kind of saved me because I saved my work just before I colored the hair so I didn't have to start all over again. 
So thank goodness for that. I left this drawing in black and white this time instead of doing a full on color on top just so it has more of that old fashioned feel to it. A little bit more of like a black and white photo which I know wasn't then but it just gives it a little bit more of that feeling which I really wanted this picture to have. One of the things about me is that I actually love to draw clothes. Like, it can be difficult, don't get me wrong, and there are certain things that I get really frustrated trying to draw, but I have really gotten into drawing collars on jackets and shirts and vests, and I love these kind of outfits, so I was really excited to draw this. I did opt out of drawing him with his hat, only because um, the tricorn hat. I have a hard time drawing hats, and I will keep practicing. It's not that I'm ignoring it, but for my first attempt at drawing this character, I wanted to, to uh, turn out a little bit more looking like him, so I thought it would help if I could, you know, show a bit more of his head, more of his face, not as much shadow to it, and I tried to keep this a little bit more simple instead of, like, super detailed, so it's more of, not quite impressionist, but you get my, you get my drift. He has such a unique face. So unique, and it's definitely like out of this time period. It feels like a face that you would have seen in the paintings and the portraits they had then. I really enjoy um, doing shading like this when it's just minimal. It kind of gives more of an in-between of realism and a stylized look. I'm hoping that I can continue to get better at my craft and to draw more characters and if you guys are interested in any of these drawings you can make sure to go look at the rest of my channel. I have tons and tons of videos. I started my channel last year and so if there's anything you like, you look through them, let me know and I can make more of those kind of videos. I'm hoping to expand my horizons and I'm honestly a little scared to make videos that aren't about Sam Hewen only because those videos did very well and I love him but I still want to do like a bit of this and that to continue to expand and to have fun and do stuff with my friends so I hope you guys can stick around for that but do not worry you never have to worry about me not drawing Sam again I'm pretty sure I'll be drawing him again very soon and I already draw him in my spare time for fun anyway Whenever I find someone that I really admire, I, I draw them until I can do it with no second thoughts. I can just do it off the top of my head like that. One of the things I really like to do is uh, hair. Even though sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, I try and give it a bit more of like the wave of the light hitting it where it sticks out the furthest and the dips and curls. Curls are are not easy, you guys. You'd think, oh, you just make a little, you make a little round circle and you just expand it down, kind of like a coil. Unless you want it to look like Shirley Temple, that's not how it works. <laughs> um, as you saw before, it kind of looked like a mess, but I do like having like a bit of a mild shading with the nice specular highlights. Specular highlights in art are the brightest parts or the most highlighted areas of your drawing. They're my favorite thing to do. It's kind of like a little treat after you draw the thing and you do all the shading. It's the part that makes it it's like, oh, it's the final pop. It's the cherry on top. And so I kind of try not to go crazy with it because if you do it too much, then it looks, it looks unrealistic and it looks kind of like you put glitter on them everywhere. It's just not the look you're going for. But I did try and keep this simple, make sure I had my values right, and I'm really looking forward to watching this show. I mean, I have to find somewhere to watch it because it's not on any of the services I have here where I live. So 
Hopefully, you know, I can find a streaming service or something that I can watch it on or rent it on. If you guys have any recommendations on where you watch it, you can let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I sign my name, and here is the finished piece. Ross Poldark. I hope I'm saying that right. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching, and make sure to stay tuned for my next video for next week. Make sure to like this video, and to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Alright you guys, see you next week.